Hello, everybody. I have a good rant for you. Hot, straight off the presses. This only happened several minutes ago. And I'm out here in my car to talk about it, all right? This past weekend, I went to the Fest for Beatles fans. It was a great time. Everybody I know had a great time. It was fantastic seeing everybody. And it probably was one of the best fests that I've went to in a while. Well, I get home, and two days after the festivities... I wind up getting a really bad cough. So I figure, oh, great, I caught a cold or something. I caught something from the people there, the crowds. It's not unusual that when you go to a lot of crowds and there's a lot of people and they're shaking hands, I did handshakes, although most of the time when people put their hand out to me, I go like this and I do a fist bump, which is a little safer, I guess, because most of, most of the time these days, if you catch something, you know, you're afraid, oh, my God, it's COVID. What if I got COVID? And, you know... In the good old days, you just had a cold. You got a cold. Now you can get COVID. You take your life in your hands. And by the way, I'll just throw this in. Then I hear on the news, this is totally unrelated, but I hear on the news that during a, the Kansas City celebration for the Super Bowl, there was a shooter that killed somebody and injured a lot of people. Happy 21st century! But anyway, be that as it may, let's get back to this. So I think I got a cold or something. Then I find out on Facebook that at least one, maybe two other people who were at the fest had said, you know, I've got COVID. So I thought, ah, here we go. Just, just typical protocol for 2024, the 2020s, 2020s, the worst decade ever known. Just, we gotta go, now I gotta go get tested to see if I've got COVID or not, to see what this is. Well, this is my third time in three months. Back in December, I had food poisoning. I thought it was food poisoning. I wanted to be sure. I came here at this local clinic to get one of those cotton swabs up my nostrils, you know, just to make sure it wasn't COVID, because that's what you do today, right? Luckily for me in December, it was just food poisoning. It wasn't COVID. Then January, I, I woke up with a really bad head cold that lasted for a week. And I, again, I was like, is it COVID? Is it COVID? Oh my God. So I came here and I went and got another test and in January, and that was not COVID either. This is my third go around here, okay? So what I want to do when I do this test is I don't like the rapid test, the short test. To me, I've heard that the short test, the rapid test is not as conclusive as, as a, the long test. So to be on the safe side, I like to get, I think it's called, is it PCR or PRC or PUC, whatever the hell it is. I like to get the, the longer test, okay? When I called up on the phone, I told the woman, I want the long test. When I got here, I told them at the front desk, I'm here for the long test. Now, they made me sign papers, two or three papers, which was strange because when I came here in, ja in January and December, I didn't have to sign any papers. And I said to them, well, that's strange. Why, I, you know, I didn't have to do this the last two times. Oh, this is the way we always do it. And I said, D -d 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 did you hear what I said? I said, I told you the last two times you did not do this. And then she says she wants a $35 co-payment. I gave, I gave them the 35 I shook my head again. I said, the last two times you didn't ask me for a copay. Well, this is the way it's done. This is, again, I said, do I make myself clear? I said. You didn't do it this time the last two times, but whatever, whatever. I did what I had to do. I signed the papers, and I paid the money this time. I didn't pay the last two times. I think that they billed me the last two times, whatever. So I get into the office. Here comes a young girl. Looks like she's just out of high school. You know what I mean? Doesn't say a word to me. Has no personality whatsoever. She takes the temperature thing, goes up to my forehead, zip, like that. And, uh, you know, then she walks out of the door and I said, excuse me. I said, I'm assuming I don't have a temperature. She goes, oh, no, you don't. I said, thanks for telling me. Nothing. She comes back in with her rubber gloves and everything. She takes the those god-awful cotton swabs that you got to get up your nose. She puts one up there. Ooh. One up the other side, up your nose with a rubber hose. And then she says to me, I'll be back in a couple of minutes to give you your results. I said, whoa, hold on a minute, I said. I said I wanted the long test, not the rapid test. And she says, well, you didn't tell me. 
Oh, I said, I didn't tell you. I said, I told them. I signed papers. I did all this stuff. There was even a point on one of the papers where it says, what kind of test do you want? And they said, you don't have to, you don't, you don't even have to check that. You don't have to check that. So she says, oh, okay. So I'll, I'll come back and do the long test. I said, wait a minute. I said, I'm not going to get charged twice, am I? Once for the short test and one for the long test. She goes, I don't know. You'll have to talk to them. I said, well, it was your mistake, you know. And I'm like, here we go. Incompetence again. So she comes in the second time, gives me that stupid thing again. Zing -ya! I can't stand that. I, it drives me nuts. Zing -ya! the second time. And by the way, somebody just parked next to me. We could conceivably have somebody hitting my door. I don't think so. No, easy, easy. Better a big truck parking next to my sedan. Didn't hit my car. Anyway, hey, you got like three rants in one here or something in, in a way, right? Anyway, so she came back and did the test properly. And I said, well, you know, I said, I didn't ask for the short test. She goes, well, you, you should have told me. I said, I shouldn't have told you anything. I thought you knew what you were doing. I had, we, we talked to the people in the front when we were doing folks it drives me crazy so then i get on a grandstand with her about incompetence and all of that finally the regular doctor comes in another young girl maybe a little older instead of being like 17 or 18 this one looked like she was 20 um, so she's a little older she comes in i think she's she's a pa or a p np or whatever she is and i gotta give her credit she was a lot more professional she talked to me she, said, she says first she says to me so how are we doing today and I said to her, well, I'm doing all right. The thing that I'm not doing all right with is the way things are run around here. And she goes, what's the problem? And I told her, and she says, well, you know, that's really, uh, there's a lot more worse things to worry about. Don't you think? That's not very serious. Uh, and I love it. That's what some of you people out there give me in the comments below. The point of these rant videos is not that, you know, how serious it is. I told her, I looked up at her and I said, listen, if I was going to make a list of what were the most disturbing, upsetting things, annoying things in the world today, this one would be way down at number gazillion on the list. No, it's not that important when it comes to the grand scheme of life, but that's not the point. It's still annoying, it's still irritating, and it's still a pain in the ass every time I come to these places. And I told her, it's not just you, and it's not just this place, it's everything. It's restaurants, it's dentists. Folks, I, believe me, I never used to be this guy. I never used to walk around analyzing every little thing and cr criticizing every little thing and telling a, a grandstand speech. But it's, it doesn't matter where you go today. It's incompetence galore. Well, she does the test, and uh, she tells me, uh, oh, you'll get the results in like two days. And I'm thinking, two days? Since when? The last two times, it was the next day. So make up your mind, you know. Folks, it's over it's been over. Boy, am I glad I was born when I was, and I'm not young today. My heart goes out for all the children of today that have to grow up, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 years into the future. Lord only knows what we're going to have then, okay? Rant over for today.